Hey, I'm Hosier, and you are watching Muzo TV. How has the tour been so far? Yeah, really fun, really fun. Um, so we've been in Europe for the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's it's been really nice being you know being here and playing a few playing a few places I haven't played before, including t tonight. This is the first time I'm in ever in Warsaw, so um, first time doing a show here. So it's exciting. Yeah, as and it's a sold out gig. Uh, you've got many sold out gigs. How does it feel when you learn? Okay, sold out, sold out, and another sold, sold out. out. Yeah, I, I, I try not think about it. I think um, <laughs> because um, if I f if I hear that it's sold out and I I celebrate that, then when it's not sold out, I, I just if if it's not if it's not sold out, I think it's just easier if I never know. If, you know what I mean? Maybe there's a few seats left. If I find out about that. That'll annoy me if it's if it's sold out. I, d I don't want to let it go to my head. So either way, just I don't think about it. A few seats left, people. Where are you? I know. It's an outrage. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the most popular young artists nowadays in, uh, in Europe. Ye um, yeah, I would. I how do you feel as one? I've been. I feel very fortunate uh, to to be able to play these songs, play my music across the world, across Europe, and um, be be able to play shows like this this you know um, it's pretty wild so I, I feel like very very lucky you know um yeah but you've earned it but, uh, yeah i know we were just saying earlier on i yeah i mean we work hard and i you know i've spent most of my most of my 20s on the road i suppose but um at the same time i do make noises for a living like i do i stand on a stage and i and i hit strings and they make noises and people clap at, at, at that you know um, so it's not the hardest labor in the world, you know. Like yeah, it's not the worst way uh, of living way one could it's imagine. Not at all. No, I could be, you know, I could be, I could be, I could be doing anything. I could be, you know, I could be doing hard labor, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm very, very happy. Very, very fortunate person. Oh, well, the people listening to your music every night uh, might feel the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that'd be fair. That's fair. Uh, however, the the tour after your debut album must have been hard because it took like not only months but years. Yeah, yeah. I was on the road for years. Um, it was maybe two and a half years out of a suitcase, you know. Um, so. It was, and I think that 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 takes it out of you. And I, I took some time off after that. Um, but uh, you know, uh, at the same time, it's it's such a it's such a pleasure and such a joy to be able to play play mm -hmm. play your music that that far around the world. You know, mm -hmm. it's a good thing. How did it feel to suddenly uh, be, let's not say forced, but uh, having to well get used to another lifestyle? Um, I didn't really, I didn't really think about it, and I, I didn't really, so I wasn't really prepared for it. Um, but I suppose that's that's life, and you just, you just, you just kind of go with the flow, and you adapt as quickly as you can. And, and it, it, you know, I was when I when when let's say Take Me to Church became a hit, I didn't have a band, I didn't have musicians. I recorded all of that EP myself. I I called a friend of mine who was a drummer. So to go from, and uh, to get him into studio like the next day, like, can you put some drums? Here's a demo, I have to record the drums for it. Um, so to go from that then to, yeah, touring, touring the world as, as much as we did, that's, it was a big adjustment, but it's like anything in life. You just, you just, you, when the ball is thrown to you, you just, you, you grab it and you, you run, you know. You live that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, you have to, yeah. Uh, well, as you were mentioning, uh, Take Me to Church, some songs scream from the beginning. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a hit. And mm -hmm. some some uh, tracks are like, okay, this is a surprise. How was it like for you with that song? Um, I didn't think it was going to be a pop hit. Uh, I didn't think it was going to make its way to popular radio. Um, so that was a really, really nice surprise. I was, I was proud of the song and I thought that the song had some good things going for it and that I still have a lot of love for for what the song is um but I was still very surprised that it became like a top 10 hit you know and it was in the charts with dance songs and and, and, and pop you know old school pop stuff you know but which is great it's a fantastic if if, if a song like that can can do it you know so mm -hmm. good and after a hit single, after a long tour, and after a great first album, you mm -hmm. started working on your second record. Yeah. Did you feel any pressure, like, okay, this has to be better than the previous one, or was it like, okay, now I can do everything I want? 
Yeah, it was. I don't know. I don't know what was going through my head. I think. Um, I think. I think. Uh, I think ultimately, I, I just wanted to ap- make sure that I was approaching writing the songs and writing the music in the same with the same sort of intention that I wrote the first the first album, which was trying to trying to be honest about it, um, take my time with it, and just engage uh, with themes that that were important to me and that were weighing heavily on me at the time so that's that's all i that's all i did and uh all i tried to do i suppose and um yeah and you know we got got to work with some wonderful people as a result got to work with mavis staples etc yeah that was amazing it was yeah it was it was it was a dream for me but um i i try not think try try not think too much about trying to um recreate certain elements or you know or or it was just trying to be honest again with the work or mm-hmm. yeah. and all the good reviews i think it felt there was good a, yeah there was some nice yeah there was some nice things said about about the record yeah it was, mm-hmm. it was good i guess that uh, after uh, the first album and the first tour coming back to reality to let's call it a normal life mm-hmm. might have been somehow weird yeah <laughs> yeah no it takes it takes time um I moved I moved into the countryside and lived alone in, in kind of a, in a nice little bungalow. Um I think that was important to just took it takes time though. I, I was kind of crawling the walls for 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 a time because you're 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 used to moving all the time. You're used to always being in a different city every day and you're used to things moving at an incredibly fast pace. So just learning to sit still again takes takes time, I think, you know. It was good. It was good to do it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plus, you weren't uh, well being alone on the countryside. You weren't a person who is recognized every day in the street. That ha- that helps. Yeah. So, or, or certainly being being in the countryside helps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like the popularity? Um, that comes with your music. Yeah, I kind of I try to keep my head down. It's very very sweet. If I it depends on where where I am in the world. Um, if I'm in Dublin, I'm very recognizable because most people Dublin's very small and most people know me. Um, so yeah, there, there's you know and th- but they're, they're super su- super sweet and there's that kind of that kind of hometown o- ownership that 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 people have of a, of a home act. Um, and people are super kind and super sweet. So I've never I've never had a bad. It's 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 never been but good good experiences, but I do try to just keep keep my head down, you know. And I think uh, I think it's I'm more comfortable if I just put on a hat and glasses and a scarf and, and disappear into into the crowd, you know. You seem like a humble person. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> I that. I think so. I don't know about that. Chill, chilled out, maybe. Chilled out. Yeah. Yeah, I think it works, yeah. and it's the way of surviving for many people. Yeah, I think because this is a crazy lifestyle. It's a crazy isn't life. it? Yeah, it's a crazy lifestyle, and I think um, I think you have enough. I think you have enough people w- when you're a musician, when you're a successful musician, you have enough people telling you that you're wonderful. So you have to you have to keep yourself at a distance from that. If you believe that, if you start believing your own bullshit, you're doomed. You're absolutely doomed. So um, you just you got to keep it keep a level head, you know. You know, What's the m- most surprising thing as far as your career goes? Surprising, yeah. Um, not a, not a lot. Like I don't know. I don't know what people do think of me, uh, or what they would, what they imagine, um, <laughs> what they imagine goes on in my life. Um, but I'm sure it's it's they would be surprised to find out. It's probably not that interesting. So um it's pretty it's pretty when you're on the road it's pretty you know it's pretty regimented it's you know we we have fun we laugh um I don't know what you'd be surprised to to I wish I could I wish I could I could offer some secret identity that I have or or some kind of I, I can't really so I think people uh, imagine it's everything but boring e- maybe Maybe it's everything but normal. Everything but normal. Yeah, we're pretty. We're pretty normal. You, like you find on the road because things are so wild and your adrenaline, your your adrenaline is always at at ninety. Um, you try to you try to keep yourself down with like home comforts, like you know, like food from home and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like we drink a lot of like tea and 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 enjoy like the simple the simple stuff. Like it's so it's we keep things simple because yeah, the the shows are so. You know, you're doing so many shows. Your energy is is so so wild all the time. So, mm-hmm. so um, 
yeah, we keep things. We're pretty chilled out. Many musicians say it's uh, well, as far as the normal things go and average things go. Uh, well, they say that after a gig, it's really difficult to fall asleep. For yeah. example, yeah. and this is something they hate. Mm -hmm. That is the hardest, I think. Um, so I maybe would fall asleep at four in the morning, you know, three or four. And then also, if you're on the bus, you know, you're you're on a, you're moving, so the bus is 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 moving constantly. So. Some people are great with that. That kind of rocks people to sleep, or it could keep you up. So, um, yeah. So sleep is sleep is one of the hardest things to get on the road. I think. But you wouldn't trade your work for anything. No, no I would not. No, I wouldn't. I was. I wouldn't. I don't know what I would do other than this. You know. Um, sincerely, I think I'd be. I mean, I'm incredibly unemployable. So if I if I ever if I ever fall, stop I'm it. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean, in the real world sense. You know, if you need a person to stand on a stage and make noises, mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah, or uh, or or hammer some hammer some notes together into a song, I can do that. Um, but yeah, if uh, but yeah, I wouldn't trade this for the world, and uh, I don't think I could. I'd be doomed. So luckily, you don't have to think about it. Yeah, true. Or search for anything else. Yeah, not not for the moment. Yeah, not for the moment. I'm yeah, not, hopefully yeah. not for a long time. Yes, yeah. I'm not running to culinary culinary school just yet. <laughs> I'll become a chef. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, well, you've mentioned Mavis Staples, and I'm wondering who are the people you would love to work with in the future? Yeah. Um, and you know that when you say the name, it might actually happen. It might actually We've happen. got the magic powers. Yes. Okay. Okay. So um, give us your list. Okay. Um, there's there's so many there's so many singers I'd love to work with. There's so many artists. Um, they. So I, when I was a teenager, I fell in love with the work of a, a, a guy called Tom Waits. Mm -hmm. so Tom Waits was a huge huge hero of mine growing up. Um, so I would love to in some capacity work with him. And then there's there's singers like um, like Florence Welch. I'd love to I'd love to I'd love to write with her. You know. Um, People like Brittany Howard as well too of, of Alabama Shakes. Um, so there's 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 a there's a lot I have to say. But Tom Waits is top of my list. I mm -hmm. have to say. Yeah. So we're gonna call them and ask if, them if about you it. Could. Yeah, if you yeah. could, that'd be wonderful. No problem. Thank you so much. No problem, but there's one condition: then you go on tour with them. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, can yeah. you do it for us? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, how long are you gonna tour this uh, album? The final shows of this year are uh, are in December back in mm -hmm. Ireland. Um, so I don't know. We have we don't have any anything for next year. We don't, we're not looking at anything as far as I can see for next year. But definitely until the end of this year, I will be on the road. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And can you ride on tour or just at home? I can a little bit, yeah, yeah. So it it is a challenge. So, um, but I have I've had to write in the past on the road, and I'm working on music at the moment. So hopefully I'll have new music by the end of the year. Mm. So, and I've 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 written some of that on the road, and it's been a challenge, but. Great news. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just asking, you know, as uh, in case uh, Tom, Florence or yes. Brittany ask. Yeah, yeah, totally. 